Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feel Hi guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video I actually want to start a new series on my channel a new project and that is decluttering my entire house. <laughs> um, I have just been thinking more and more lately, every time I turn around I feel like every little nook and cranny of my house has become cluttered with stuff and a lot of it is stuff that I don't need. A lot of it is stuff that I hang on to for maybe sentimental reasons or I think that I'll have a purpose for it in the future or whatever the case may be. I'm hanging on to things that I'm not using. It's cluttering up my house. I have a smaller house so any clutter in a room just makes the room look smaller and look way more messy. That's what I find is that especially if I have like something laying on the floor or something like that automatically because it's a small room it's gonna look a lot messier. So that is one of the main things that I want to do this year is to declutter my whole house and get rid of anything that I'm not using regularly. Um, my plan is to take this room by room <laughs> and we're going to be starting in my bedroom today, in my master bedroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go through every single item in my room, like even in like my drawers, um, just every single little thing and use the KonMari method by picking everything up, touch, physically touching every single item and deciding if this is something that A, truly brings joy to my life, B, if it's something like maybe I have like multiples of that I can get by with only using one, that sort of thing, just because I'm just, I'm finding that it's cluttering my mind and I feel like the cleaner that I can keep my house, the less stuff, I feel like that will help that mind clutter to go away. So that is what we're doing today. We are going to go through my bedroom and declutter literally everything. <laughs> so if you are in need of some major decluttering motivation, this is definitely your video. And stay tuned because there's going to be several more videos in this series to come. The next one is going to be the bathroom declutter. And that's another huge one. <laughs> I have so much stuff in that bathroom that needs to be gotten through. So, but I'm going to take you around the room and show you kind of what everything looks like. The room is clean. My number one tip is to always start decluttering with a clean room because you don't want to be going through a whole bunch of stuff and then you're adding to an already messy area. So I'm going to grab a throwaway box, a donation box, or like a sell box, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can fill it up today and just make some hard decisions. I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like I really want to push myself to make hard decisions because a lot of items, like I said, I keep for sentimental reasons and I just need to, I need to let go and stop doing that. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So basically I'm not going to touch this nightstand because it is my boyfriend's but I definitely know there's some things in here that he does not need and does not use so I'm going to ask him to go through that on his own time but I'm not going to touch that because that's his stuff it's not for me to decide whether or not I should get rid of anything there um and also excuse this pillowcase not being there it's in the wash <laughs> so basically the things that we're going to be going through is this box first of all I go back and forth on whether I should even have this box in here <laughs> I mean I really like it it looks cute at the end of my bed um but it is like I, it's a narrow walkway here so I don't know I feel like sometimes it would 
open the room up a bit more if I didn't have this here. And then also my poor boyfriend always has to like walk past it <laughs> in the night, <laughs> that sort of thing. And I feel like it's probably an inconvenience to him. So we might end up getting rid of this box altogether. But we definitely need to go through this stuff inside it as well and see if there's anything we can get rid of in there. Okay, then next we will be going through my nightstand. Um, my books we will not be going through. I will never get rid of my books. <laughs> I only get rid of books if um, I read them and I don't like them or I stop reading them halfway through because I don't like them that sort of thing. I am a huge reader. If you guys have seen my living room shelves, you know that this is like my supplementary <laughs> shelf <laughs> and that those are going to stay there. Um, but that being said, I might remove this from the room, but keep the books. We are going to go through my closet, which I've done several times before, but I definitely think that I've held on to some things that I probably don't need. Um, so yeah, go through my closet again. And purses up there again. Um, there is, I have clothes up there and like just extra things up there. So we're gonna go through all of that. And then also my drawers as well. And stuff like this, like, okay. This for example, I don't wear any of these perfumes, not a single one. And some of them I have, have been gifts, so I have a hard time getting rid of them, but I don't wear them. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, my very, my very, very part, part, part-time job that I have is only six hours a week, and I can't wear perfumes there because there is a person that I work with that is allergic to scents, so it's like a scent-free office, so I can't even wear it when I go to work. <laughs> And then this also, this is something that I struggle with also because this was given to me by my best friend years ago. I love it, it's beautiful. I would typically like to keep this because I think if I have another baby one day and if it was a girl, I think this would look so cute in her bedroom. But is that something that I should hold on to? You know what I mean? Like, do you guys... <laughs> You guys feel me on this? <laughs> Should I be holding on to this on the off chance that we decide to A, have a third kid, and B, have a, it be a girl? <laughs> I mean, that'll be holding on to it for years. I don't know. But once again, it is there is sentimental value there as well. It was given to me by one of my best friends. Maybe I could keep it and just not have it in here because I don't need it in here. It's got, like, barely anything in it. Um, it's got, I think, like, jewelry that I don't even, once again, jewelry that I don't even wear. So... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean like things like this, super cute, but I probably don't need it. So yeah, we need to make some tough decisions today. Um, and then down underneath my bed is another thing. Um, let me just grab it here. This huge thing is all filled with like birthday cards, Christmas cards, pictures, photos, stuff from when I was little. Um, this is going to be harder to go through for sure because it's mostly all paper. It's going to take a while, I feel. Um, and I'm going to have to, once again, make some tough decisions because, yeah, there's things in there that, for sentimental reasons, I would like to keep. But, you know, how often do I go through my birthday cards from when I was, like, seven years old? <laughs> you know, it's stuff like that in there. So... We're going to go through once again, make some tough decisions today, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully I can get rid of some stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start in my dresser. Uh, the first top, the top two drawers are my boyfriend's, the bottom two drawers are mine. So I'm just going to go through my stuff um, for this video. He can go through his own stuff on his own time, um, but I'm going to go through my stuff and I'm just going to take everything out of the dresser drawers and put it on the bed and I'm going to go through the KonMari way and touch each and every single item and really decide if it brings me joy, if I feel good wearing it, if I really still like it, if it's still my style. And anything that I decide, nope, doesn't fall into those categories, it's either gonna be donated or tossed in the garbage if it's old or has holes or has paint on it, stuff like that, because <laughs> I'm always painting in my clothes. I am so bad for that. I just wear whatever I was wearing and then I get paint all over everything. <laughs> um, so now we're done with the dresser. 
didn't take very long with just the two drawers and now we're moving over into my nightstand. My nightstand isn't too, too bad. It's definitely a little bit unorganized, but all the stuff in there is stuff that I typically use. But a lot of stuff maybe has to go in different rooms. Like sometimes I'll just throw things in there and stuff that maybe doesn't belong in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum it out and then rearrange everything, put everything back. But there wasn't really any, anything in this drawer that I needed to get rid of. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I Okay, so now let's move over into my closet. I have done some decluttering videos in my closet before and it seems like every single time I do a decluttering video in here, I do get, end up getting rid of some stuff. So that's great because my closet, as you guys can see, is very small. It is so frustrating to have such a small closet in the master bedroom. And, like we just do not have very much storage in this house to begin with, but especially the closet is really frustrating because both my boyfriend and I have to try to keep our clothes in here. And it's, I mean, you guys see it, <laughs> it's small. Um, so yeah, so the more that I can kind of declutter and just really keep the items that I really enjoy, the better. Um, and what I decided to do is I actually decided to go with the system where I'm going to turn all of my hangers around. Um, so I'm going to hang them backwards. And then every time that I wear an item, I'm going to turn it back around the proper way. That way, after about six months or so, I can go through and anything that I have not worn, I know I clearly don't wear <laughs> because I'm really bad for thinking like, oh, I'll wear this or, oh, I wear this sometimes and not realizing, not realizing how little I actually do wear it. So then once I go back through it in the six months, if I haven't worn it, obviously I'm not wearing it enough and I probably don't need to keep it. I probably won't miss it if I end up donating it or giving it to somebody who actually will find it useful. Lastly, um, if clothes wise, I'm just going to go through the bottom drawers here. I have so many socks in this bottom drawer and I don't even really like wearing socks like in most of my videos you guys will see I don't I'm usually barefoot because I don't like wearing socks so I can definitely get rid <laughs> of a bunch of these um because yeah and I have like tons of fuzzy socks too which I mean I don't know I'm, I'm always hot so I'm like never wearing socks I definitely don't need an overflowing sock drawer <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to keep my luggage in here, obviously, but then I have these couple of bags of just kind of stuff that I need to go through that's just like kind of extra stuff that I just shoved in my closet because I had no place else to put it. So I'm gonna go through all of that. And then you guys <laughs> can see in the bottom here, this is actually kind of a funny story, this pink thing in the bottom. There's a funny story behind this, and this is one of those things where I'm talking about sentimental value of things. So that pink pillow, <laughs> has a really funny story and when my best friend who is still my best friend to this day we met in second grade and when we were in about the fifth grade we went through this phase where we decided we wanted to make our own clothes and this is the material <laughs> from one of those little adventures we wanted to make skirts out of this ugly horrible <laughs> pink material thankfully neither one of us knew how to sew so we got about as far as buying the material and attempting to sew a dress that ended up being way too small for either of us and um, I ended up just making a pillow out of it and as I'm <laughs> what I decided to do instead of keeping that whole pillow I thought I'm just going to keep a little scrap of the fabric and put it in my little memory bank and then that way I save some room, I have a little scrap of the fabric. But when I opened up that pillow, it was so strange because I, <laughs> I mean I made these pillows when I was like probably 10 or 11 and I realized it was stuffed with old curtains. <laughs> curtains from my bedroom so that was actually kind of a cool thing to open up and see because I was like what is even what is this even stuffed with it doesn't feel like a normal pillow and it was stuffed with old curtains from my bedroom when I was a kid so 
<laughs> Anyways, now as you guys can see, we are moving on to the top of the closet. I'm gonna go through my purses here. Um, in this basket beside the purses is old clothes from, not old clothes, but pre-baby clothes. So we're gonna keep that stuff. Um, in hopes that I will fit into that once again <laughs> one of these days here. With me, talking to the night into the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Okay, so let's now move over to the top of the dresser. We're gonna go through those perfumes. We're gonna go through all the stuff in these little drawers. And I am deciding to keep those little drawers, but I am gonna remove them from the bedroom because I don't need it in there. I'll find another home for it. Um, but we're also gonna go through all those perfumes and we're gonna end up taking down I'm going to take down my vision board as well. Um, this is an old vision board and it's kind of just there to fill space, to be honest with you at this time. Um, I mean, all those things that are on it are still things that I want to, you know, manifest, but I just want to maybe make it in a nicer format. I don't really like the look of this vision board, so I will end up redoing my vision board at some point. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see uh, another video on vision boards. I do have a couple of them where I've made a couple of them before, um, but let me know if you guys are still interested in that content or not. And now for the long project, the one that took the longest amount of time is going through all of this stuff in this memory bin. So this is like tons, like I told you guys earlier, tons of photos, um, old birthday cards, stuff like that, letters, things from when I was a kid, even there's like awards and stuff that I won when I was a kid. So this was definitely took a little while to go through. A lot of it um, was pictures. And so I didn't really go through every picture. I just kind of scanned through most of them. Um, a lot of them I did want to keep I got I ended up getting rid of a lot of like old birthday cards and stuff like that. I kept ones from like my parents and especially like my dad passed away when I was 23. Um, <laughs> I think 23 and so you know some of them it was really nice to kind of go through and read and I'm really glad that I kept a lot of those so I am going to keep those but things like you know either like from people that aren't really important as important to, in, to my to me in my life anymore um like old friends stuff like that i just ended up getting rid of i get stunned by your drum i follow you into the sun shoot a race like a shotgun you gotta be my someone So I am done. So this is what I have for the sell pile. So this will either be on like a buy and sell site or a garage sale. This is the donate pile. So that's pretty full, almost a full bin for that. And then over here is the garbage pile. So once again, pretty full. Um, I did end up cleaning off all of that, so that is looking a lot better. Um, I got rid of a few clothing items. I think I told you guys probably in a voiceover, you will have heard me say this already, but in order to make sure that I actually am going to wear all these clothes, I have turned all the hooks around and then as I wear it, I will put it back the other way. And in a year or six months, whatever I decide, anything that has not been worn will go and then up here I have clothes let's let's open this Holly <laughs> oh my gosh instead of trying to show you underneath that okay so in that basket up there is all clothes that uh fit me pre-baby so hopefully we'll get back into those again 
got pajamas there. I ended up putting all of my jewelry in here and then bathing suits there. And yeah, this basket is filled with stuff that's going to be coming when I redo this bedroom, which will be coming this summer. We're going to be redoing this room. This looks so much better, a lot more organized. And I decided to keep that in here for now. I might revisit it when I do end up redoing this room. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope that I was able to inspire you to get into your messiest rooms and declutter and get rid of some things that you don't need anymore and that are not serving its purpose that it needs to in your life. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Make sure you come back for the next video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.